Well, welcome to Swan Lake Resort. I'm here with part of the team here, uh, Thomas and Jake. Glad to visit with you guys and hear a little bit how, well, season number three is going here at Swan Lake Resort. And let's talk a little bit about pre-season, like before before we were owners or, mm. or how this all came came about because you've got a you've got a five team ownership group that uh, well everybody's got a little bit different role and mm -hmm. came together and how did it all happen? Well we I'll let you take it. <laughs> but we started cross legged in my living room. I remember you and I and Francis were cross legged mm -hmm. in a circle, almost with our foreheads together, going, how can we get out of the city <laughs> and not have to pay so much to live? So, yeah, because big uh, cities are, you know... We were all just kind of getting crippled by where we live. You pay a lot more rent. money, and you get a lot smaller space, and very confined, and mm -hmm. not the fresh outdoors nature. You know, these kind of sanctuaries are few and far between in any yeah. metropolitan area. Yeah, so it started by putting our heads together. Literally. Literally, and then I'll let Tom take it from there, but... Yeah, I think the pitch was to just shake it up. You have to break the mold a little bit if you're looking for a different kind of lifestyle. And so I was kind of doing the corporate grind, Monday through Thursday, flying out to a different city, to a different company. And I knew that really wasn't what I wanted to do long term. Yeah. It was what I did out of college, it got me on a good financial footing. Jake had always been awesome though, chasing his passion, so he's doing strength coach, but was trying to solve for the living and make the lifestyle a little more balanced. Yeah, and balance, I mean, that's a big, Part of what what you can offer here at Swan Lake Resort to your guests is a little balance to their day-to-day -day grind, mm, yeah. and it seems like that's the balance that you guys have found. Then mm -hmm. we we found it kind of we made this pact I think pre-COVID, and then COVID shook things up, and <laughs> I ended up getting laid off from that corporate job, and that was kind of the impetus to go. Okay, what is the next step? Yeah. And so for me, it was to go build a tiny house. And that's when we, I kind of recruited the team and said, hey, maybe we now's the time to go buy land and see what we can build from the ground up. And um, that idea ended up spiraling into this kind of vision yeah. of buying a campground. Once that light was on, we, we started chasing properties in Minnesota. And when we saw this listing online, we kind of knew. I remember it was an old drone footage that they had taken, I think, to sell the property and it had panned over this big grassy area. And I just knew that was, that was perfect. Right. Because the, the beach is right there and most campgrounds are so packed in and tight. But that, I remember that was like, I was, it was midnight, we had just lost another property bid. Mm -hmm. And this one appeared that night when I was just in my lows of low and we ran. We talked to the local SBA, we found a local banker. And within a couple months we had a sign. Which is fantastic. You know, yeah. you, you're, like you said, you talked about building something as a group from the, the ground up. Well, now Swan Lake Resort has been here since the 40s. <laughs> yeah. So it's got over 70 <laughs> years of experience and life that mm -hmm. is breathed into it where you're not truly starting from scratch, where mm -hmm. you're carving out campsites and, mm -hmm. you know. We were definitely naive. We did not realize what comes with no. a place with 74 years of history. Right. Nor did we initially go towards this because it was let's find some land let's throw a tiny house for each of us down yep and we'll make like a commune or like a co-op yeah and maybe we could rent it out on airbnb or something once in a while but it was really just buy some land and let's get settled kind of together and then it turned into how much do how serious are we are people willing to move are people willing to run a business together yeah because now it's a full-fledged business so it's really kind of shifted it hasn't taken 180 degrees but it's shifted from we're gonna make a commune and kind of focus on ourselves to let's take all of our experience from our past careers run a business together and then put a high emphasis on like customer service customer experience and still get that like community feel yeah that we initially started with yeah really just with a lot more people a, right combining <laughs> a lot a lot more moving parts to it all and I would imagine the sense of, you know, you've got, so here at Swan Lake Resort, you've got cabins that folks can rent for, yep. you know, three nights to week. a week or, you know, if they're available. Yeah, there's a good mix of stuff here. We're on 17 acres. There's a lot of open grassy areas. Maybe we'll do a walking tour at some point, but 
Um, you know, I'll start at the bottom. We have four tent spots, some sure. with electricity, some without. Um, we have we have 30 RV spots, so you can bring a little pull-behind pop-up, or you could bring the rig a, that just drove a, by, yeah, a 45-foot motorhome, you know, towing a Bronco. And um, if you want a little bit more luxury or don't have an RV, we have uh, fully furnished two-bedroom cabins with kitchens and bathrooms. Sure. And then, of course, you've got this season, some seasonal spots, yep. too, where folks have brought things in, and people can come out and just use the beach for the day or rent a pontoon for the day too. So yeah, true. really and something for everybody. Yeah, and the seasonals are beautiful. We have 16 seasonal spots back there and they come every summer. They stay for all five months and they leave their rigs here in the winter. Um, but they really carry the, some of them have been here for 38 years. Wow. So they really, wow. they carry the culture of the campground with them and they're here every week. They're here every weekend. So that's like our, that's like our base level of Yep. Uh, tradition and culture is really in the seasonals because they've seen it all. Yeah, they've absolutely. been here for a and long they can time. Set and the tone, you know, we're, there's a reason we're not having to have rounds and remind people to be quiet at midnight. Sure. Everyone just kind of knows this is a family friendly place. Yep. Whether you're coming for a day, a day pass, or all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. long. It's family friendly. It's not We Fest. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's not yeah. chaos. And, yeah. you know, th there's, there is the, the culture that those long time vacationers or summer residents have developed here. I mean, it's evident just being out here. It's like, you know, it's, you take a breath, it's calm, but it's comfortable. And it's not like a big Madden's resort, mm. you know, where you feel like you gotta like dress up to go play golf or something. Mm -hmm. You know, this is just relax and really get in tune with what's going on around you. I mean, we've been sitting here enjoying the birds and, you know, you hear a little boat go by in the background mm -hmm. and it's just really got a great feel for it. Yeah, and what we love is the space. I think a lot of campgrounds are lacking space. Yeah. Just general square footage of not anything going on. Right. So we may have 30 campsites and some tent sites and five cabins, but between all of them is grass and air yeah. and trees. People are not and packed in. We're not packed certain. in. And, and we have the choice, you know, do we want to put more sites on and bring in more revenue? And But that's not the goal. Yeah. So we could put more sites and try to do it that way, but it feels so right. And again, people have been refining this for 74 years of what feels the best and right. what, what works. So um, the space we really take pride in as well. Yeah. Well, and we've, we've got, you know, like you said, you've got five folks that are make up part of the team. We'll hear from each of you, too, in a little bit on what area that you bring in and, and some of those things. And we should also, like like you said, take a little walking tour and get a, get a glimpse of a cabin because I think one of the best things for folks in Ottertail County and Fergus Falls is, is that you can invite your friends and family to Ottertail County but they can stay in their own cabin. On a lake in Ottertail County. Exactly, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So if you're not on a lake, you live in town, mm -hmm. you want to invite your friends and family up, I think, when did you say you've got openings? Maybe in August? Yeah, they, you know, they could we've come got a busy up summer, but late August and September, we have a few openings in the cabin. A few yep. openings, and they could come up here, and you know, everybody could have a gr great time. Enjoy so, it all. Yeah, stick yeah. around, we're gonna do a little tour. The future is fast. The future is reliable. The future is local. The future is fiber. Park Region is committed to bringing fast, reliable, local fiber to rural Fergus Falls. Connect with us today at 218-998-2000 to go beyond the connection. So now we're here with part of the group. Thomas, this is, um, you know, I've been up here a couple times now and it seems to change a little bit every time. Talk a little bit about um, your favorite part of being part of this group that owns uh, Swan Lake Resort. Yeah, I, I think it has to do with the creative liberty we have here. We have obligations to the guests. They've been expecting things for the last, as Jake said, 74 years. Yeah. But I love, you know, kind of being on the management ownership side the blank canvas we get. Maybe not blank, it's got elements already in it, but you get to manipulate those from interior design in a cabin to landscaping to which trees to plant. 
there's really no end to whether you upgrade the fire pits. Sure. Whether you care about lawn or want to put down clover or something a little more environmentally sustainable. It kind of never ends. And yeah. so a lot of inspiration comes from Instagram, comes from YouTube, it comes from Pinterest. Uh, we tour other campgrounds. When Jake and I travel, we're always kind of looking out. I can't travel normally anymore. <laughs> you, you bring a new perspective into it now. Like, what can we do at Swan Lake Resort? Whether it's a restaurant or yep. a hotel or an interesting campground, I, 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 I have a hard time viewing it just from a guest and even just relaxing. I see all these like interesting improvements that could be made or design ideas that I would like to yeah. kind of bring home. Incorporate mm -hmm. in. Well, and the flowers are beautiful, all the plants all around. I'm, I'm thinking, wow, that in itself is like a full-time job. Yeah, <laughs> and, and no one can do it alone. So, you know, Anna's kind of our chief gardener right yep. now. One of the, my partner and, and, and one of the other owners, Jake kind of runs activities and, and I tackle some of the landscaping and equipment maintenance. And so everyone adds their little flavor to it. So this is a canvas that is sloshing around with paint. It'd be a little bit different every year, but yeah. people can still uh, rely on the same tradition and the same amenities from year to year that they've been used yeah, to. There Whether might be a new water here? slide, but otherwise it's, it's going to sure. be the same. Basic stuff. Well, let's take a little break and we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the amenities and activities. Oh, sweetheart. Can I give you a hand? No thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm going to go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. So now, uh, you know, Thomas spoke about like an open canvas where you can bring your personality and the personalities of the group to, to the, you know, the new ownership of Swan Lake Resort. But it's more than just the aesthetic and the appeal and, and how things look. Mm -hmm. People come to Swan Lake Resort for an experience too. And, right. you know, they can do anything that they would like, whether they want to, you know, sit on the deck of the cabin and read books all day or go down to the beach and go swimming or yep. rent a pontoon. But in addition to that, you bring some experience, Jake, that is very unique and different um, mm. from many, from what many people might think about the mm. cabin or, you know, the resort experience. Talk to us right. a little bit about your bra background and how that comes into play with resort life and yeah. ownership. So it's good to note that to, to make this thing run, there are the, you know core tasks and things that need to be done. So all five of us have to be fluent in how do we make this thing actually run? Right. How do we let guests come down the road and house them and host them and be serviceable? But then having so many individuals involved, we have the opportunity to, we get those core things done. Now we can say, what are you passionate about? Yeah. What do you actually want to do with the campground and what changes do you want to make? You know wherever that may lead um, and what I have done for the last 10 years is I was a professional strength coach in the cities sure so I'd coach athletes I would coach anyone from 70 years old to seven years old I kind of ran the gamut through the last 10 years um, and what I found is that I see health as more of a holistic get outside move around breathe a little bit yeah. get off your phones get off your <laughs> yes. phones uh, and get off your phone <laughs> And just get outside and move, and it doesn't have to be more weight room based. We have some kettlebells and some free weights just to get sure. some resistance, but we also have hiking trails, and we have yoga on Sundays, and we have a geo workout where kids can hang from trees and do some really down cool dog stuff. poses. Yeah. Cool stuff. We host volleyball, we host kickball, we have game room for activities. So we try to make amenities, but I call them active amenities yes. for people that are can barely walk to people that have a hard time walking. Sure. Trying to give them some activity uh, wherever they lie. Right. So um, it's been interesting, but it's been fun to, you know, the paddle boards and down to the rafts to the, I mean, in every corner you can kind of find an activity or something to do. But that's what I'm super passionate about is getting people outside, getting people moving because I think very heavily that if you get outside and you're active, you're going to feel full. Right. You're going to feel maybe a little bit of euphoria, some happiness, and not necessarily 
sitting down stagnant looking at something right in front of you that has never made me feel good and I haven't seen anyone like come out of that a new person but I have right. seen people come on vacation for a week and stay outside and get away from their phone and do some movement and then feel refreshed super and, energized yeah and and people are on vacation here yes so the hard part about my role specifically is nobody wants to do fitness right, on vacation so I'm kind of trying to disguise yeah. uh, fitness in ways with like friendly yoga, but you're gonna leave feeling nice and yep. be a little bit more mobile. And um, So we're not turning people into couch potatoes for a week <laughs> after yeah. they you know, left their desk job where they sat for That's a week. Right. Now we're That's like right. getting out and experiencing nature in just a new and a fresh, fresh way that, mm. you know, you know, kind of gets them in tune with the surroundings. I mean, that's why people love Otter Tail County is to, to come out to the nature and the space and yeah. the water. And, and that's what it's all about. You know, whether oh. it's as simple as walking across mm -hmm. the beach in, you know, waist deep water. There's yeah. a little bit of resistance there sometimes yeah. too. So and, and people see everything as different. Like people see fishing as, oh, I'm just going out fishing and I'm coming back and I'm eating it. That's what I do. Yeah. But my brain says like, that's really healthy. Yeah. Cause you're, you're like, you're going out and getting social time and then you're yep. coming and you're, and not everything has to be calculated. Right. But the way I kind of see things from above is, oh, now you're eating fresh fish from the lake. You're enjoying time with your family. Yep. You're connecting That's great. and all that That's health, stuff. right? I mean, it doesn't have to be uh, so regimented. Right. So it and, is everywhere. And you, you've also brought in um, some training that local people can take advantage of, too. So let's talk a little bit yeah. about the, the high school athletes. I mean... Mm. Yes, in Fergus Falls School just got out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Winter. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, we just roll with it. And now, you know. Kids are starting to think about summer. Yeah, and a lot Finally. of those student athletes are thinking about what's their next sport. Like, they don't want to lose that momentum that they gained from having right. practices and workouts right. throughout the, the sports season and the mm -hmm. spring season. How, how does that play into yeah. Swan Lake Resort? Because I know it does. Yeah, and up until this year, for the last two seasons, I've been commuting back to the cities to be a coach. Sure. So I come on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and go back to be a coach in the cities. Well, now that I'm not in the cities anymore, I'm based in Otter Tail, um, I want to find that niche that I can coach. And in the summer times, especially, high schoolers have no stress because they're not going to school. Right. They're really malleable because they're still young, they're adventurous, they want to get out, and they usually have a desire to get better at sports. Sure. Because that's their thing. That's what they identify as is sports. So I've taken the opportunity in the last 10 years I've done this in the summer with kids in the cities. So now I'm just bringing the same method here, but now in a more beautiful place yeah. instead of on turf, we're at a campground. But for eight weeks, we are just going to work on our speed and agility as well as some competition. So Fantastic. we're playing games together. We'll have paddle races, but then we're gonna be working on footwork, conditioning, plyometrics, Everything that a professional level athlete would go through, yep. but then sprinkled on top is like some outdoor stuff. Maybe we'll play some basketball. Maybe we'll, you know, go on a hike with some weights and things like that. So it is speed and agility training uh, for the local kids, but it's also a way to get them outside because that's also yes. our goal. So Right. They're not going, you know, in July spending, yeah. you know, four hours in a gym. Yeah. You know, which yep. there's nothing wrong with going to the gym. That's but, great. Boy, if you but can in the get, summer, enhance your your athleticism and do it outside. Yeah, Fantastic. it seems like a, a double benefit. And right now we have 10 varsity level Fergus Falls athletes. So we're really excited about it. We're Fantastic. Gonna have a, we're gonna have an awesome group out um, and they all compete on the field during the school year. So then we can kind of go out to some football field, see some kids play, yeah, that'll be go so to the much soccer fun. field. We have a couple of track gals that are coming. So um, we're excited to train the kids and kind of get into the varsity community a little bit. Yep. We know all the coaches at this point. We have those connections, but the kids we haven't really touched yet um, in terms of getting them on the campground, letting them feel the benefits of it. So right. um, we're looking forward to that part. Absolutely. For sure. Well, and you guys are doing a great job too of you know incorporating, I think that's just one way that you're incorporating the local residents and the people um, from Fergus Falls into the resort. Um, mm -hmm. Other things, you know, people can come out and they can get a day pass, right? For come out and go swimming at the yep. beach here. Yep, use the beach, use the game room. We have a bathhouse for bathrooms and showers. We, you can kind of use all the amenities with our day pass. A lot of people end up doing that that live in Fergus. Right. Or that stay at Day Lagoon and maybe don't see the disc golf course there and the beach sure. and the different things. So some people will stay elsewhere and come for day passes or just come if you're in town. It's a great way. 
people are just starting to figure that out. Yeah. That they can come enjoy the beach for seven dollars. <laughs> for seven bucks a day. It's pretty awesome just to come and use the place as you like. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to take a little break and we're going to learn more about Swan Lake Resort. Cool. Mm -hmm. You go. Thank you. Thank you. So, folks, if they bring their um, boat along with their camper or whatever, they can. There's a spot for them. Yeah. And and we're lucky enough to have a launch right here on the property. So the okay. public one is up the road, about a mile on the east side of, of North Swan, and we have one right here for guests. Fantastic. So bring your own boat, or else we got little. 14 foot John boats there with outboard motors and the two pontoons are out today but we got uh, an 18 footer and a 20 footer. Yep. So and folks can rent a pontoon even if they're not staying here if they're available right? Yeah that's a big question we get. Okay. If you're if you're camping here absolutely in pontoons and fishing boats are open to the general public. Okay. So you kind of get a day pass bundled in with the boat rental. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Um. And so, have you heard, how's the fishing been so far this year? The fishing is awesome. Is it? it well, it's it's great every year, um, but this year is the first year that we have also been able to get on the lake because we okay. finally have a little bit of time. <laughs> so now I can have first-hand experience in saying that the fishing is awesome. The bass in Northern are, people will come up and say they caught 20 bass or 20 Northern that day. A lot of um, fun. A lot of fun, the fun fish. And yeah. sunnies and crappies are biting like crazy right now. And they taste um, so delicious coming right out of the lake. Yeah, and we do have a fish cleaning shack. Okay. So people can clean their fish and get rid of the guts and clean up and not have to take any of that into their camper. So that's a nice thing that a lot of people come for the fishing, especially early in the summer. Yeah, so it is, it's awesome. So boats on a day pass, how about beach? The beach comes with the day pass. Right? Yeah, beach is so a day pass. So that comes with the, so the day pass is for really the, the resort. It, it's I mean, the you just don't get a cabin. It's exactly. hard to, <laughs> we know they're going to use the restroom and maybe dock the boat for a little bit. And so rather than try to police it, we just bundle it all in. Yep. Yeah. And the Which beach is, fantastic. is, yeah. I think the beach is one of the more underrated. Not that it doesn't speak for itself, but I'm in love with this part of the property probably more than anything, just because I don't know, where in Minnesota do you get like a ocean-sized beach yeah. with some nice white sand. And, then and I love nice that we added the, the activities, because this swim area, I mean, it was a beach, it was beautiful as is, but there was no it needed lines. a little spice. And so we got the water slide last year, the swim rafts, one for the kids, the little ones, and then if, if you're brave, you can go into the deeper one. <laughs> and that log roller keeps coming unhooked. <laughs> Normally, you're, you know, the challenge is to try to stay up for 10, 15 seconds, 30 if you're an absolute Like standing? Champion. Standing. Yeah, like log like, rolling. Okay. Like yeah, a... I was going to say, like, I, yeah. <laughs> Not, I don't know if one second would happen in this yeah. life, yeah. but, you know. usually, usually when it's real nice out and sunny, we have tons of sand toys. The kids will be out here yeah. on a real nice sunny day. They'll, it'll be full of kids building sand castles and... and playing around so well and kids love the beach no matter what the weather is it's yep. just a little early for them to be out playing yep uh right now yeah. come so. one or two o'clock sun's out this place fills up yeah. yeah yeah and speaking of the beach and the water we everything with a paddle at the resort is complimentary okay so canoes you can see paddle boards kayaks anything that you power with your hands people can just use as they want fantastic um, and we have paddles and life jackets and things like that available so it's really nice to, I know personally, I like to just get out on the canoe and explore. There's a couple islands out in a little swan here yep. that people go explore around. So um, we like to push people to get on the water. Yeah. Because that's, you know, a lot of the appeal. It, well, and it's a great lake too. Yeah. I mean, it's clear. Clear, clean. Yep. Um, you know, you've got kind of your own little area here. It's not real busy. Yeah. And then you can go out and, you know, the yeah. other parts of the lake too. And we're on the small bay of Swan Lake. The big bay, you know, has a bunch of properties, a lot more boat traffic. Back here in this little bay, there's not a lot going on, so people feel safe. Um, people aren't gonna blow by on jet skis and speedboats, so yeah. it does feel real secluded, which is nice. Yeah, well let's adjust and we'll take a little bit more of a tour of the rest of the property. 
First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. Okay, so we are, you know, in the spot that is so beautiful and you've got fire rings and picnic tables. The only thing missing here are a few tents. They're coming. So, yeah. <laughs> Check-ins at two o'clock. Two o'clock today. They'll be and they'll here. Be full. Yep. These I mean, are our primitive tent spots. One, two, three. You are right next to the beach. Honestly, they're in a primo location. Yeah. A picnic table, they're a fire pit. It's like separated too. So there's mm -hmm. like, We have you know, wind trees. block with trees. Yeah, this is perfect. And Anna put wildflower seeds in these. So they're just starting to come up. So she's excited that she went with something natural. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. So right, it goes with that whole primitive feel of it, but still nice amenities by having the fire ring and the picnic table, and you have, yeah. like I said, you have your own little zone here, and these spots are huge. They're huge, and tent campers are, they don't know whether they're gonna be in the middle of the woods, you know, a mile from the bathrooms, right. or where they're gonna be, so this is a nice, we call it primitive, but you're in grass, but you can be next to the lake, but you can kind of see the bathhouse and walk to that. So you have like the modern luxury, you have Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> so you have like the modern amenities of being close to everything, but, but you're still, still all you have is a fire ring and a picnic table yeah. and a tent. These are fantastic. So it's really nice. Spot. And I noticed between here and the, the bathhouse, there's disc golf, volleyball, badminton. Spike ball, Jenga, spike ball, Coob. All yeah. kinds of fun games. Beans, there's no shortage of yard games. We've, <laughs> we've cleaned Dunham's out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of fun activities. And then kind of as we go around, we've got some, uh, RV camping, your seasonal spots, all kinds of good stuff. Mm -hmm. There's it's something amazing. for everybody. Yeah, something for everything, everybody. And I think that's kind of the, the key here about Swan Lake Resort is that whether you're looking for a relaxing getaway, an active getaway, uh, just plain getaway for the day mm -hmm. or for a week or for a weekend um, and close to Fergus Falls. So if it's raining and it kind of washes out your fishing plan for the day yep you can head into town and your guests can enjoy shopping and dining and all the activities in town or too. pop into the game room we haven't even showed you oh that. yeah <laughs> well, let's wrap up with that okay. let's head yes. to the game room next I like that We've got this awesome game room. So there's always something, really something super fun going on. And you know, a lot of folks, like I said, Fergus Falls schools just got out of class in you know, second week of June. So there's still plenty of vacation left of the summertime. If folks wanna come out for a day on the beach or uh, maybe they wanna, they've got family coming to town, they wanna, you know, find a spot for them or if they want to maybe do a nice little fall getaway. Hmm. Where, what's, the, what's the next step? Like, where did we go from here? Like, we're already here, so. <laughs> if you're convinced you want to come out, you can um, just come on out and we'll take care of you during the week, get you a day pass. If you want to make a reservation for a camping site or a cabin, you check our website if you feel comfortable online. We're www.swanlake.camp. Or you can just go old school and give us a call. It routes to either of our cell phones we answer 90% of the time, Most and if times. we missed it, we'll get you right back. Yep. Where else can they find us? 
uh, social media. Yep. And you can be as formal, as informal as you want. I'm the kind of guy that just wants to drive somewhere and go see it. Yep. So people are curious, just come out. Sure. Just come out. If you want to just look around and come out and take a walk and see what it is, we would love to have you. Um, otherwise, you can get day passes, you can call, you can go website. We're super. We're trying to be as visible as we can yeah. for everybody. Absolutely. Well, it's a great place. And again, we're just thrilled that you guys are here at Swan Lake Resort and turning over kind of that new leaf and bringing some new, new energy and a great relax. It's a great relaxed vibe, like with, but still plenty of activity. So I don't, new vibe. I don't know how you did that, but it's, <laughs> it, it's truly amazing out here. Yeah. New vibe, same family friendly campground. So awesome. we thank you guys for coming out. It's, it's been fun showing you around. You bet. Well, thanks to you guys and your crew for all the hard work you've done already and really helping make summer vacations fantastic in, in the Fergus Falls area. Thanks, awesome. Lisa. Thank you. you. Bet. Alrighty. Well, that's uh, find it in Fergus Falls for today here at Swan Lake Resort. We'll see you again next week.